Hi, I'm Nemanja Sekulic and today I will show you how to extract the hair from a messy background in Photoshop. So let's start. Alright guys, as you can see here we have this girl with uh, long hair on really messy background and the problem here is uh, this part of the hair because this is not so really easy to extract because there is no contrast. We need color contrast or luminosity contrast to uh, have really good extraction of the hair. I will show you on this example here, on this man here. Let's just quickly make another layer and fill it with black. And uh, as you can see here, there is a big luminosity contrast. We have dark background and white beard. And if we use quick selection tool here and just quickly select some part of this man, the beard, like so. I will not select whole, maybe just this part of the man, just to show you. Uh, as you can see, if I now make a mask, we don't have selection of every hair here. But if we go step back and go here to select and mask, and this is in a new version of Photoshop. In early version, I think it's a refine mask or refine edge, something like, like that. I cannot remember. Just go there and just with the default brush, just go over the beard and the background. And as you can see, the Photoshop will do everything for you. It will dete detect the edges. And if the contrast is higher, then the edges uh, detection uh, of the edges will be better and just go here press ok and then make a mask and now as you can see if we move him we have almost every hair select you can refine it in a refine edge uh, dialog box a little bit better but that's the point if you have really contrasty image uh, really con uh, actually if you have big contrast be between the hair and the background between the model and the background you can really easy extract it but if you have situation like we have here it's not so easy to do. For this, we will need to roughly select the hair, some parts that we actually can select, and then later we will need to make some custom brush, and with that we need to paint some hair back in the scene. I will show you that in a second. Okay guys, for this we will use our favorite quick selection tool and just paint on the hair, and let's Photoshop do the hard work for us. Okay. Let's select some parts that are easily selectable, like this part here, because as you can see, quick selection tool are doing the job really, really good because there is a big contrast between the body and the background. And let's select this part. It's a little bit trickier. We need to go a little bit slower, but we will refine this later. If we need to reduce our selection, just press Alt or Option key on a keyboard and just refine this. Okay. And again, Alt or Option key and just refine selection. All right. Let's go here. Like so. And now we are here on the tricky part of the, of the hair. For example, if I want to select uh, the hair here and I want to include this part of the hair but not the gap between let's try let's use the smaller brush and try see the Photoshop cannot make the difference between uh, the gap and the hair because it's almost the same color and it's not so easy selectable and we will not include that in our selection we will use alt or option key and just erase this part of selection and include only this part of the hair. Let me double check this. Okay. And now let's just make a mask out of that. Like so. Great. We have this wall and we will match uh, the lightness between the wall and the girl first and then go ahead and paint the hair. Okay. Let's first make a one adjustment layer. It will be curves. Make this wall a little bit darker. For example, like this. Okay. And then go here to gradient tool and just make some gradient mask here to make this part lighter because the light is coming from this direction on the girl and this part of the girl is darker. 
and for now let's let's leave it like like so okay guys now let's go and make a custom brush and paint some hair back for that we will make a new document and let's use for example 200 by 200 pixels with resolution 72 and we need white document all right and let's use a brush a brush and maybe opacity around 40 percent or so let's use black color and just paint with a different size of the brush something something like so few dots you will see how will that look like so maybe and here all right a little bit smaller and one here maybe all right now we need to make the brush out of this image for that we will go here to edit define brush preset and just name this brush for example hair whoops hair and say okay and as you can see we already have that as a brush but we need to adjust some brush settings for that first what we'll need to do let's go back to our document here and make a new layer let's name it hair and if we want to paint this with 100 percent opacity we have something like this and actually it's not so good because there are a lot of gaps between the brush strokes uh, we will need to go here to brush settings and reduce the spacing to maybe one or two percent i will use for this one percent and now let's see let's paint here there is no gap between that's that's nice okay the next step will be just to sample the hair color and paint some hair back first we will paint the basic shape of the hair and then we will concentrate on the details so let's go all right let's zoom a little bit and make this brush a little bit smaller and just sample some part of the hair for example this one and just with maybe 100 percent opacity for now just paint basic shape of the hair like like so All right go here and paint use a smaller brush just paint some basic shape of the hair let's go here select this color and just just paint some basic shape and that's the first step the second step will be go a little bit into the details as you can see here maybe we can reduce the opacity to 50 percent and use a smaller brush and just or 20 percent and just paint some hair here okay something like like so just to mention that you can make a few different custom brushes for the hair and make different effects with uh, different strokes you just play experiment with that it's really fun if you have a lot of different hair brushes i have few of my own but for this tutorial we will use only one only this one that i made all right let's go here and let's see the original image and paint back this part of the hair here let's sample this color and just paint back this part like so all right for now it's okay but just for now let's paint more hair here all right this is the first step the second step let's duplicate uh let's make another layer let's name it hair number two because this will be the details in the color here let's use a darker darker color and let's use maybe 30 percent opacity smaller brush and just paint some details some colors in this here some other variants 
it's similar like dodging and burning. You you need to use darker color to make this part of the hair a little bit like it's in the shadow and then use a lighter hair to, to add some highlights. For example, let's use this skin tone and, and add some highlights here. Like so. And you just need to play and to practice and to experiment with, with that. It's easy when you have a routine, but in the start it, it's, it will not be so easy. Alright, let's paint some part back. And it's much better if you have a few brushes for this, just to make different strokes, just to change brush every time. Okay, but for, for this, this example it's really okay to have only one brush. Alright, let's see. Let's use this part of the color. Okay, and just make some strokes here. Like so, maybe 40% opacity and just paint some hair. Some darker color like so and just change hair color and play with let me see this one and just play with that like so all right guys for this it's much easier to use some tablet i'm using wacom tablet but any tablet will be better than using a mouse for this process because it's much 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 easier to paint here with the pencil than with the mouse right let's just paint and let's use maybe 70 percent opacity and paint this back in like so and with 40 percent just change experiment use a darker color and just play play with it just make some flying hairs here like so it's not so visible but like like so all right and don't go too much into details because if your image will not be so big at the end you don't need to paint every detail of the hair for example if you will see the image from this uh, this is amount of zoom then this is perfectly okay if you uh, will need the image to be zoomed like so then you will need to go more into the details like for example make another layer let's name it uh, hair uh, number three so creative <laughs> all right and then just use a regular brush just normal soft brush with one pixel size and maybe with 30% opacity or so use some highlights and paint back some maybe 20% opacity and paint some highlights back some flyaway hairs like so as you can see here just paint randomly because the hair it's not always straight some hair can go like so some here and it's up to you how you can make your hair uh, look of your hair i don't know what i said just but it's up to you at the end can make some parts of the hair much longer, some parts to 70%, some parts a little bit shorter. You can erase, paint new hairs like we paint this one here, oops, maybe 30% and play with that, just play, just be creative, experiment, have a fun. 
like so. And we are almost done. This process can last as long as you want. You can add as much details as you want, but sometimes it's shorter, sometimes it's longer. Depends of the result you want to achieve. But that's that's the basic procedure that we uh, we are making. Let's group this and name here. And let me see before and after. Before and after, you can see there is a lot of different. Let's zoom here. Before and after. Before and after. I like to go to the last uh, step here and use filter blur. Gaussian blur and just blur it maybe for I don't know let's see these flyaway hairs because see they're too sharp let's blur it maybe 0 0.7 0 0.6 maybe let's use the arrow keys 0 0.5 let's use 0 0.5 and I think now it's much better for these flyaway hairs yes for my taste it's pretty good and that's basically it with hair painting. Now we can play with some composition and color correction. All right, let's unzoom this and select the hair group and the girl and just reposition it somewhere here, for example. And let's merge all layers into one with Shift Control Alt E on a PC and Shift Command Option E on a Mac. And just go, for example, filter Nick Color FX Pro, one of my favorite filters. It's free Google software. You can download it for free and go here to Pro Contrast and just add some contrast here with the Dynamic Contrast Slider and add another one, maybe make this image a little bit warmer, like so. Okay, and add another one, maybe cross-processing and just choose one of and maybe just decrease the effect or let me see or maybe this one actually I like it better something like so press ok and wait for the effect to apply on a separate layer nice okay guys and we are finished with this tutorial I hope that you like this method of painting back here into the scene because sometimes when you have such a tricky situation like this one when you have similar color of the background and the hair or such a messy background that you cannot extract the hair so easily from it you need to paint the hair back into the scene this is one great way to do it just make a custom brush or even better make a few custom brushes and then play with that paint the hair back you can even change the hairstyles all right guys i hope that you like it that you learn something new out of it and if you have any questions at all please be free to ask them in the comment below See you next week in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.